All right, guys, welcome back. Here we are with another video. Uh, this video was brought to me by a question. It was uh, sent to me on my Facebook page, and I was trying to answer that question. And I realized, wow, this is actually a big question. So I'll just do a video on it <coughs> to hopefully hit this point. <coughs> Then I look at my messages and found there's like multiple people asking the same question. So I decided to use this background, even though I did not expect to come into a room with somebody shooting at these amounts and hitting like this. So I will try to make this video short. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen because there's going to be a lot of information if I need to chop it up into two pieces or whatever the case may be. Ugh. God, I'm a fellow playing right now. But anyway, not to go on any further, I am trying to pull it back up this question. It is very difficult. So. This is being difficult. I'm just gonna go without it. Probably need to turn this down just a smidget. I really don't want the noise of this to overpower me. Shout out to the owner of the company. Alright, I'll put it down that low. While this going on in the background, jeez. You know what? I'm gonna sit here and just watch this too. Screw it. Yo, get that back. Oh, I can't go right here and just pull up the question again. Oh, there you go. Alright, I got the question out. That's all he got for 50 cents. That is a robbery. Alright. Yo, yo, to the individual that know I'm doing this video. I did not know you wrote me all this, sir. Okay. All right. Screw this. This is gonna be long as heck. I ain't feel like pulling out the camera. Like I said, I'm just gonna use this for this for a nice thing. All right. Now the way I started this video, I'm in the Buffalo Thunder Room on V Power. Now, hopefully, the way you come in, either online or an actual game room. This is my suggestion. I'm just gonna label it suggestion because everyone got their own ways they do it and all this other stuff. This is fine. Uh, of course, I come online and play. Just, I'm just playing. <clears throat> just to show you but how I actually play when I'm not recording and online. I play completely different. I'm just basically showing how things works, could and could not. But when I'm not online, I'm a beast. Alright, so let's start off here. When you jump online or go in the game room, first thing you want to do is jump in a room. See how populated it is. Now you see this one change some players. First thing I look at is where they got me situated. Right now I'm in a good seat. And let's say they go to seven, five, 25 cent, 10 cent, eight cent, all around. And instead of me just jumping in, the uh, jumping in the fight, I mean, if I brought enough money like that, if I got 500 to blow, yeah, I'm just gonna jump in the fight and just take my pick. Or, as I always tell people, scope the table. So when you jump in, you see how many people play. Now, the number one thing I look for, and you see that, 
person that seems like they've been at the table for the longest and all they're doing is shooting bullets and they're not shooting fast. They just slow tapping it. I'm going to jump on with my laser and get the shooting. Yes, that means you're going to be taken. More likely. Because I would love to see a person already on a table and already shooting. That means that table's warmed up already. That don't mean it's not a that's mean it's not a cold table that I have to warm up. That means I have to eat a little eat a little before it starts giving back. Like look at this, 25 cent. <sighs> Dang, he just went off rip. Now seeing how fast this 25 up top is going off. It's 25 cent. This sucker just had to jump four times to even get back face value. It just went over, so it's not gonna go that much longer. Let's see what it increase. Like that's 25 cent. I should expect you to see you at 250 already. But this five cent over here is making some noise. Wow, 61. But anyway, when you go on, you basically see somebody see one or two people shooting. They're not shooting as fast. And you see stuff going off. That's the thing you want to see going off. If you see some activity onto the table, yeah, you want to jump in and play the table. Same thing for the room. But if you see people shooting and all you see in is like every other small fish, not even the small roll up fish like the puffer fish, the blue and yellow fish, the sharks, you don't necessarily see them going off like that. Get away from the table. That simply means they're eating. Now, if you want to hold on to, will this person shoot my same number? If you want to really stick to that crap, yeah, I called it crap. But they were shooting at my number. No, 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 no. People that play like that, they think they play small. Those are the ones that'll put in a hundred dollars and they shoot at five cents. I'm not saying 5 cent won't get you there, but step your game. Alright, gotta remember this V power, so whenever it goes time, it's just gonna give you about that it's gonna give you, it's not gonna give you that roll up effect. So 67, it's not 2 times 67 on here. But anyway, if you wanna go and wanna get in your feelings about or wanna fight over they're on my same number stuff, Grow up, dude. I'm just gonna say that right now. There's no such thing. It's all about if you hit the creature at the right time and it was ready to go. Alright, if you hit him at the right time versus blowing all your wad, that's fine. Because how many times you sat on the table and it just, you was just shooting, you was feeding. And you was finally getting back and the eye nowhere this five cent player come out of nowhere it seemed like it's taken. Yeah. So this five cent player got a roll up of two times. So he got ten dollars worth. If he was at twenty five, you would have got that at two times, it would have gained you fifty. It's almost like a stage. <clears throat> when the machine is ready to give out, it'll give. The only problem is now all the owners of the I'm talking about in an actual fish game table. They just set the games up high to like 30 cents. I mean 30 uh, level 30. If you can see them when they supposedly doing the shift chains or whatever and you see they got it set on high, get out. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Get out. That is a shame. If you got it set on 30, you better have a line of people on that sucker and all y'all shooting like crazy. There's this other fish game channel where the person is somehow able to record inside the fish game table uh, inside the actual fish game place and they got it on the big screen and they're shooting how them peoples is playing like how you see how often the stuff going off back to back to back to back to back that is a happy table and I am seen a few happy tables back in my day when I get a hit I'm waiting on the cash out somebody else get a hit basically everybody on the table actually get a piece of the pie now if they choose to keep going that's on them and I basically got a strategy for that too 
but wow I'm getting off I'm getting off on a tangent right now all right <laughs> I completely forgot where I was but anyway all right bottom line when you first go in before you go in know how much you're going in with all right your goal is to increase that and get out same thing with this now you see this something did just go off why did I say that when something just went off anyway so this table is most definitely still warmed up I ain't gonna say it's fire it's fire is like level eight and up I get us about a level six right now it's old five to six five and a half so split it down the middle but now you see how everyone's shooting at that small fish it's not going off and you now have to put in a little money just to make something go off hell seven cents yellow stop maybe because they only got seven dollars but now purple purple and green are shooting right now they're the only people in this room but you see what I mean when it gets cold like this either you're gonna feed it or you're just gonna sit because the way these games are all right we just paid out we gave a little bit a couple people gave got a good shots couple of there now it's time to collect for the house because that's the one thing the machine is going to protect and that's the house now how you basically navigate is on you keep in mind when we am doing my suggestions since a lot of people really want to know wait blue only dark blue i mean white blue only spend that house Oh, they just came in. What's, what's going on? I thought... Okay, the game just changed a little bit. But when you get a chance to sit and notice, most people be doing this training on themselves. It's the people that just like to sit here and watch. Like, look, I'm red. I'm right here. I'm just sitting and watching, dude. People just want to watch stuff go off. But if they're watching, they're also learning it. So if you can sit back and just watch like this and notice how much stuff going off, like if you want to get a notepad or whatever write down how much that actually went off during the oh my god this is going long <laughs> if you actually get a notepad and actually write out the amount or how many times something went off and see how it actually decreased before it actually get back to the same number that's cool Ugh, i am wow that's a lot all right Hopefully, if you go back in this video, you actually see how many times the whales go off. It's cool. I, I sat in this room for like 10 minutes before I actually started this recording. So, if you want to use this for a reference, see how much people are shooting at what to just to make something go off. Like, come on. Especially online, these actually go. But on actual tables, the majority of the time, when you can get one crab to flip, and you know the, t the table been fed long enough, the crabs is gonna flip like crazy. Y'all, people that actually go to the rooms, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. They just start going belly up like crazy. And then of course, there are certain strategies. How I would play it if I'm playing with somebody else or as a group, so we can actually go out as a team. You know, the team don't like to stick to the idea until things get low. Anyone ever played people like that? You know what I'm talking about. Oops, that was my crane. Anyway, all right. Wow, that is a happy well. Yeah. Wow, I know they're holding the button down. I'm sorry. Probably got the automatic gun out. This is an example. Look. The only thing big went off was the well. And probably the, I think the, the laser. See what I mean? It eats. It has to eat. Because the round before that, it was going off like crazy. Someone got the buffalo. Someone, I don't think the mermaid went off, but the, the bomb went off. You get my drift. So, I'm not trying to make this long. So now notice how much stuff actually goes on. Granted, the table is still collecting. It is slowly revving back up to start paying out. But 
I like to see stuff popping constantly. It's not about, oh my god, it's the number, please get out of here. It's gonna pay whatever it's gonna pay. Regardless, if you wanna slap the button on the table, drum it hard, it doesn't matter. See, I like these killer weapons. Golden Dragon, boy, you gotta fix your lips. That's all I gotta say. I, I like watching this roll up. It, it makes me happy. Like, at most of the 30%, it'll pay $60. I know it. I shot him long enough. Oh, yeah, and the Thunder Dragon went off too. Last round before this past one. Anyway, alright. Back to my main thing. First thing I do when I go in, I know before I go in, I know how much I'm going in with. My goal is to increase it. Same thing online. And it don't matter on seats. You want to go off the seats, it's getting hot or whatever. If you want to do anything, you can stick on the whole motive that, oh, the hit's on this side of the table. Whatever. Whatever for you. Alright, get back on track, stay on track. You gonna go to 60? Almost. Anyway, when you go in, you take a look and see how many people are in the place. I mean, if you're playing on what game, it can be one of these games or it can be one of the Tunish games. Let's see what they play, what they play. Right, you wanna take a look at the amount. Yeah, they got like right here. Okay, they're shooting high. Are they comfortable? Are they, are they good? But if it's looking like this and that and going off, like not even the sharks. I'm looking at the sharks. The, he had to put it, he had to put in a lot to get that stuff. I'm looking at the sharks. The blue, the blind and limbo fish, the blue and yellow fish, the whales, then, well, the killer whale. Then the boss and the king well or the golden well. I look in that order to see how much are they going off. If they're not, fine. That's when I say let's warm up the table. I switch to my gun like how he's doing in bottom right. And I just start shooting the small fish to see how often they go off. If they don't go off that much, these are warming up or I need to get the hell off. Alright, so. Don't know how long I went. <laughs> so lots of information. Oh yeah, say so I was answering the question. Don't know if they want me to read that question. Uh, screw it. All right. You know I might have to do a part two of this. <laughs> I had to play. Uh, dang dude. Yeah, because this is a recording I don't want to take too long. I'll probably come in the next video and answer fish game questions. Alright, hopefully y'all use this video and I'm probably going to sit back watching and see how long it takes for now different stuff to go off. I think it's warming up. Right now it's getting up to a 7. 7 or 8. What is that a 7? It's trying to get up to an 8 right now. That's what I mean. If you want to stick to a game room, like uh, a game, either the actual table or this room, online, here you go. Or you just say, screw it, I'm going to leave out. And there's no chance you'll probably come back in this room. This room could be packed and you get like another version. Hopefully some people within there already got it warmed up so you don't have to put in much of a fight. Now the hardest part is someone actually leaving. To leave. So that's one thing I probably have to say. I like Golden Dragon on it shows what you win. They got that down to the side while you're picking up on another. So whatever you put in, whatever you win, go to a different column and stay split so you don't have to worry about playing that back unless you want to. So that's actually a good thing. Alright. I didn't pay attention last round when the uh, buffalo was going off. I was actually uh, really trying to remember my point that I wanted to get across. But, uh, yeah. Just so I can get this 
this going? Will I need to start over? Yeah, well. Oh my god, that's so funny. Alright. Uh, yeah, I said what I look for when I first go in the game room. I'm trying to remember what else. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to cut none of this. I'm just going to leave it all in just the way it is. Uh, that's how I look to when I go in. I watch my cash out motions. Uh, as soon as I make what I made on my first part of my money, I put that back in my pocket and just play with the house money. And just go for it. I'm trying to remember, I think that is it. Yeah, to the individuals. If I didn't answer your question, I'm going to come back with a, like a uh, part two of this, which I don't even know what I'm going to call it. Like, so, Mad Max suggestions. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, did I just come back in the same room? No, no, no. This is a totally different one because the buffalo was out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see what I mean right there. I don't even come back into the same room. So... Now I'm purple. Anyway. Anyway, so... Yeah, I'll probably come up with another thing answering this question online. Anyway, any other questions, put it in the comment on this video if you want to have any questions about actual fish game. I'm... I got a page on Facebook, uh, also Twitter, uh, I'll probably put in the links, I was thinking about making a group, so if anyone want to come in and shout out the areas, and talk about which uh, game rooms that doing good or bad, let it be known, so you know, we all want to come up on top and have fun. Hell, I would love to go back to another game room that's just like that video that I was talking about on uh, this other YouTube channel. How uh, they can record inside of a game room and you just see everyone's bustling and having a good time and the music was lit. That is a happy table. I would love to be on that table. Okay, this is where I'm kind of fired up. Oh yeah, this this room is kind of it's kind of fired up right now. Anyway, any other questions? Put in a comment down below. I need to end this. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one. Peace.